Well, hello and welcome to The Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. I'm on my way through uh, the Scottish distilleries. I'm trying to uh, review bottles from 100 uh, Scottish malt distilleries and we're at number 89 now, which is Tamnavulin. Uh, Tamnavulin, I don't think any uh, malt head would say that, that Tamnavulin is their favourite distillery. It was started in the uh, in the late 1960s. Uh, it's owned by a Filipino company called Emperador and you know they bottle most of their whiskies at 40% ABV and um, with chill filtration and uh, artificial colour. And the other brands owned by Emperador like uh, Jura, they, they suffer from the same uh, reputation as well. Um, but this, they're not asking a great deal for the um, for the Tamna Vulin, uh bottling, so I thought it was time to pick one up. I tried the regular double cask, which is available in BC and it is available in supermarkets in the UK, and I wasn't a big fan of that. But then they brought out this um, this sherry cask edition, also at forty percent ABV, um, and it's matured in American oak barreled and finessed by three different types of sherry cask and um, for 60 dollars out of alberta i thought that this was a good uh, buy potentially um, the packaging is all very uh, old school unlike the distillery itself it has a picture of a water mill which has nothing to do <laughs> with the 1960s distillery but in homage to that, they do have this little band of um, turquoise here and a little bit of turquoise lettering here, uh, which uh, references the um, the patina on the copper roof of the distillery, which is now quite this quite shocking um, uh, turquoise colour. And that, that stands out quite nicely. Regular, relatively sturdy uh, carton and fairly standard bottling although it does have distillery lettering on it um yeah it's kind of old bit old hat the packaging uh, but you know 60 dollars i'm not expecting anything particularly exciting 40 percent abv it's probably uh it doesn't carry an age statement it's probably got um e150a and it probably does have um chill filtration being bottled at 40 percent Yes, it is. It says, it tells me in Danish and it tells me in German that it does have E158. Um, what do I want to say? Nothing. It's taken me a while to get round to uh, Tamnavulin. And I think actually Tamnavulin do some supermarket own brand uh, scotches as well. So if you were to go into, say, Sainsbury's in the UK and buy a Sainsbury's brand scotch, it may have come from Tamnavulin. Hmm. Quite nice on the nose. Sweet sherry, vibrant sherry, picking up stewed fruits and oranges. It's quite heavy on oranges. Hmm. Raspberries. Black currant, honey, a little dash of cream as well. And citrus, a bit of grapefruit, a bit of lemon, but a lot of orange. And a dash of bitter orange as well. Maltiness starting to come through. Old grey tea, a little bit of sour cranberry some lemon peel tartish green apples oak menthol or maybe peppermint oil a little bit of cocoa a little bit of herbal notes some glacé preserved cherries and you know it has a full-ish nose for 40% and the sherry note is evident but it's not a sherry monster. 
at 40%. You know, it's not very dark and gooey and lots of molasses. It has sherry influence there, um, but it's not full sherry maturation, which it doesn't claim to be. And the palette at full strength. No, a citrusy sherried malt. A little bit of honey, apple juice, cherries, navel oranges. There's a little bit of a, an awkward oakiness about it. A little bit slightly off. A little bit of bitterness there. Some ground ginger. You know, the sherry finishing here is giving this a much more syrupy mouthfeel than a 40% whiskey would normally have. So often I find 40% whiskey is very lacking. I always feel that 43 or 46% would be a lot better. And that's probably the case here, but it's getting a bit of resin. It's getting a bit of um, thickness from the sherry flavors, the heavy flavors there that, that is making this drinkable and sort of quaffable at 40%. Okay, let's give it a drop of water. Yeah, three or four drops there. 40%, I'm not wanting to water it down horribly. Mm. Very fruity. Wine gums picking up gingerbread, ground ginger, honey, oak, menthol, rum and raisin, tobacco, and a little bit of bitter orange. Actually quite a lot of bitter orange, but pleasant. Palette with a bit of water, lemon and orange to the fore. There's a toasty oak, some cocoa, but there is a bit more heat actually with some water, and it's it's becoming a little bit horseradishy, a little bit wasabi, which I think a bit peppery, which is giving up its youth a little bit, as well as quite a strong um, green apple note, which is also something that. Uh, indicates that this is not a 30-year-old whiskey <laughs> with no age statement. It is probably a five or six-year-old, a lot of it. And the finish, I pick up cinnamon, apples, cherries, sweet herbal notes, uh, a fading sherry that drops off really quite quickly. There's not a lot on the finish here. So raisins and dates come in just for a second and then it drops off really quite quickly little bit of bitterness, aniseed, ground spice, and a sort of peppery heat lingering there. Hmm. So this is actually surprisingly good. I didn't come at this wanting to love it, um, but it's, it's not bad for $60 Canadian. Um, you can do better, you can do worse. It's a lot better than that double cask that they're selling. Uh, I would pay the the difference to get a, to get this um, sherry cask edition. I think it's a good value pour and maybe a, a reasonably good entry point. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'd be keen to know if you've tried this, if you have uh, similar views or if your views maybe differ. Uh, I'd be keen to hear from anyone who's tried this before as to what they thought. Anyway, uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Next time, we'll either have a whiskey from a very unusual country. I like doing those. Uh, or we will have uh, another, a scotch that is maybe higher quality than this, but very, very affordable, very attainable. Uh, or we will have uh, scotch whiskey 
Scotch Malt Distillery Number 90, which will be our unusual distillery, a new one. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the review and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.